Welcome to 519 Diecast. Got my weekend haul here. And yes, I am a day late because I had some uh, computer problems. So I couldn't get this video out. And now the computer's fixed. I'm good to go. So I got quite a few main lines this time for Hot Wheels. I got some Mini GT, Tarmac Works, and uh, Johnny Lightning M2s. Yeah, a little bit of everything again, I guess. So to start out with, we have the Porsche 911 Turbo S. And this is the chase that I showed last week in the package. Now it is out of the package. Looks fantastic. There's no paint. It's like it's been polished. It's uh, very nice. It looks good. So this is my very first chase. And it's out of the package. So y'all can see it. Looks pretty good. I like it. Now I just got to get the main line for this, or not the main line, but the uh, original one for it. Uh, I'm not having any luck finding it yet, but I'm sure if I keep looking, I'll find it. But for now, we got the chase of this version, so I'm quite happy with it. Looks really nice. Good looking car, even though it has no paint on it. But there is quite, quite a bit of detail in these Mini GTs. I think they're awesome. Fantastic. And the next one I have here is a Range Rover 1971. It's a British Trans Americans Americas Expedition. I guess that's what it says. It's really small writing on the box. I'm just trying to read it. But this thing's busy and it looks good. I like this thing. Lots of detail to it. It's not something that I normally would pick up, but ah, it's it's just cool I I like it I think that thing's right on take a better look at it it's got some ramps on the top of it there it's pretty cool it's got some extra wheels on her there you go there's the side looks good lots of decals on her so you've got some really fine mirrors there and very cool so front of her Go to the other side. You gotta be very careful with these things. You drop it, I think you're gonna do some damage to these things. Let's see if you can see inside there. It's got the standard transmission by looks of it in there. But that's wow. Just an awesome little truck. I think that's cool. Very, very cool. You can got the wiper blade on the back window. Yeah, very, very nice. Very cool looking machine, that's for sure. Here's the bottom. Yeah, nice. Those mirrors, eh, pretty small. Look like you break them off pretty quick, but we're going to try to avoid that. And the next one I have here, Tarmac Works. And this is the Ferrari 488 GT3. And of course, I didn't undo it from the... Uh, pedestal that it's on but give you an idea what it looks like anyways till I get to take them off but that is another fantastic looking car and that aerial that's on the roof of this thing is so tiny like it's you know that's going to get snapped if you even touch it so you want to be awful careful with this one there's the uh, side of her this is uh, tarmac, so it's pretty cool. No moving parts or nothing like that on it. But uh, that little aerial there, holy. She's like a hair thickness, is so very, very fine. Looks like it could be very easily broken off. But the detail on this stuff, just wow. I did put in another order for a bunch of these, so hopefully that comes in soon. We'll see. Red Bull on the side. That's nice. The back of her. Again, very, very cool. And it's got Red Bull on the spoiler there. You can see in the, the back of it, the engine bay there. Nice. Cool car. I don't know if you can see inside there. Not too good. Yeah, another sharp car this Ferrari 
488 GT3 by Tarmac Works. And I'm going to show you them out of the pack or in the packages when I'm done doing them loose. So when I get into the carded stuff, I'm going to show you what they look like in their box. Now this one here is new. This is Hot Wheels from the Pop Culture. It's the Nissan Concept 2020 uh, Vision Grand Tour. And I showed this last week on the card. And I found another one because the card is all jacked up. It's all bent. And, uh, well, you know what? That's a perfect candidate to get it opened up to take a look at. So that's what she looks like out of the package. Gran Turismo 7 says... It's a Nissan concept. It's pretty plain looking, I guess. It's got some pretty neat lines on it. But it is, uh, yeah, it needs some color, I think. I don't know. Something about it. Just not quite right. But, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. And, of course, it looks way better out of the package for sure. But, yeah, there's something just not quite right. Something's missing with this car, and I can't figure out what it is yet. But it is still pretty cool. Not a bad looking machine. There's the back of her. Not too bad. Got the tail lights in her. So that's the Grand Trismal. Like I said, I'm going to show you it in the package so you know what to look for. And then I picked up a Matchbox. This is a 2016 Chevy Camaro convertible. I'm not a convertible guy, but you know what? I thought this one was pretty cool, and I ain't seen it before. So I picked it up, thinking, yeah, that's nice. It's got nice wheels. I like these wheels on these Matchbox. I don't know what it is about them, but I like in these wheels. It's got taillights in it, and it's got some detail on the inside there. You can see in there. Yeah, still a pretty cool car for a convertible. It's not bad. I'm not a big convertible guy, so it is what it is, but it's still a nice casting. I think Matchbox did a nice job. A lot better job than, uh, what was it, Majorette, I think it was, that I had showed a couple weeks ago. It was horrible. This is far nicer, far, far nicer than that one. It's the back of her. Not too bad. It's a good looking car for Matchbox. Can't go wrong for a dollar forty or something, dollar fifty around here for this. Looks good. I think it looks all right. And then I got this one here. This is a 1978 Dodge Little Red Express truck. Now I did have this carded. I think I showed her to a few weeks back. Uh, you know what? It's too nice to leave in the card. So I popped her open so you get a little better look of it. Oh. Uh, I think it looks great. It's not quite the right red for the Little Red Express, but it is it is what it is. It's all right. Looks good. There's lots of pinstriping on it. And this is a main line. And I think they did a pretty nice job with this. For your, just your basic main line truck. I think it looks great. I have a few of these. Different colors, of course. From years gone by, but... This is the newest one out, new for 20, or it is 2024, it says on the card, which I'm going to show you is the card. Yeah, it's not bad. It's a good looking truck. I think they did a great job with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Pinstriping and everything looks really good on that. So, I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to get ready to show you the carded ones. And uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe while you're waiting. I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. And this is what my loose cars look like in their packages, so you know what to look for. This is the Porsche 911 Turbo S, which is my chase. And uh, if you'd watched last weekend's video, you would have seen it in the package. But here's another look at it, so you know what to look for. And uh, I don't know if you'll find a chase or not, but you never know. But uh, that's what the car should look like right there. So that's the first one. And then we have the Range Rover there, and there's the package. Awesome. That is an awesome looking truck. Love it. So that's the package you're looking for for that one. And then Tarmac right here is the uh, Ferrari 488 GT3. 
pretty cool. Of course, this had cellophane on it. This doesn't now. I'm not going to put the cellophane back on it, but this is what it looks like. The box looks pretty cool. I like these boxes. It's nice. It definitely protects that little aerial up there. That thing is so fine. I can see it get busted real quick. And then we have the <clears throat> Hot Wheel Premiums here, the Pop Culture Gran Turismo. It's the uh, Nissan Concept for 2020 right there. So that's the card you're looking for for that one. And the card's messed up here. Actually, all of them were on the shelf. Somebody had went and bent every one of those cards. Just terrible. And then this is the, uh, the Matchbox 2016 Chevy Camaro Convertible. This is the package. Awesome. I like that car. They did a nice job with that. And then we have the little red express right there. So these are the packages you look for. So we'll carry on. I'm going to do some Johnny Lightning. I've only got three of them. I'm going to show you. This is one I was missing last week. <clears throat> I did get it for this week. 2005 Ford GT. And it's in custom gunmetal metallic with black and orange. This is version A. Last week I showed you version B. Awesome looking car. Awesome. Now that is just cool. Like this Johnny Lightning stuff. I know it's hard to see in these packages, but say I'm opening up so many now, I'm I don't know what to do with them all. Yeah, that's a cool looking car. Awesome. Love the color of this one and the gunmetal. Thing is fantastic. Cool looking car, and there's the card art right there. And then I picked up these as well. This is 1934 Ford Coupe right there. Awesome. Love this car. Looks fantastic. Of course, they got both version A and B of this car. Great looking car. Love it. Now, I don't know. How easy they're going to be to find around here. I found one store and uh, close to me here that does sell Johnny Lightning now. So I'll be able to get them locally now, kind of. It would be kind of nice to be able to do that. And then the other one is the 34 Ford Coupe. Again, this one's done in purple. Right there. Very, very cool. I guess I should have showed you the fun facts or the facts on these. That is a cool looking car. And it's got tread on the back tires as well. And I mentioned that last week on the M2 that somebody had said that they're not slicks. They got tread. Yeah, this one's got tread too. And this is Johnny Lightning. So there's the facts if you want to pause it and read it. And I don't know. They're probably both the same. No, they're not the same. So there's the other one right there if you want to pause it and read it. So yeah. That's the two. Awesome. And they come with the storage tins. Once you got them open, put them away. Thing is awesome. Great set of cars right there. Absolutely love those things. Beauties. Beauty, beauty, beauties. And then for the M2s. This is another set that I got. This is Release 70. And it's a 1971 Chevy Van G10 4x4 and a 7670. 1976 Chevy Silverado Chevy Sport 4x4 I like this casting I believe it's new for M2 I am uh, was excited to see this uh, that is awesome I like that van I think they did a good job with that for sure there's the front of her you know they, they do have their quality control issues for sure but this one here is very sought after. I see a lot of posts about this one that everybody wants her. Now I don't know if it's a van or it's that truck. Now it could be the truck because the truck looks pretty good in those colors. Pretty sweet looking. Looks awesome in that green, greeny yellow I guess it is. There's the back of the truck. Pretty cool. That's a nice, nice setup there. I do like this setup. And this would have came as the Chase 2 as well. And I think it had gold wheels. This is not the Chase. That's your regular version. So the next one we got here is 1969 Ford 350. Foose Coupe. And Foose Coupe it says. So there's the truck. Love my Ford truck. So yeah I'm all over that for sure. 
is a pretty cool. I like chip foo stuff. I think it's awesome. And there's the front of the truck. Looks pretty good. Love those Ford trucks. And then the Foose Coupe, which is a, a different duck. That's for sure. That's a different car altogether. But it is cool. So that's why I grabbed it. Plus it's part of the set. So I got to do it. But yeah, it's not bad. You know, it's a very unique looking vehicle. For sure. Definitely different. Definitely different. But it's all right. I like it. Looks good. I don't mind that at all. And then the next one we got here is the 74 Dodge truck. 1971 Challenger. Funny car. Love my drag racing. But the truck, that looks pretty cool. They did a nice job with this truck. I think that looks great. Black interior in the truck there. Yeah, it looks right. That truck looks proper for sure. There's the front of her. Not a bad looking machine at all. Now, the only one I've seen left behind is the Foose one. I've only found the two that I got here, like the Chev truck and the this one here. These are hard to get around here. But yeah, there we go. And this one here has got slicks on the back of it. There's no treads on those tires. So yeah, this one's got slicks. Pretty cool. Love the drag racing stuff. That thing is just awesome. Love it. See, I'm not big on Dodge, but, you know, they're making funny cars out of it. So I'm doing her. Awesome. Nice set. It's actually the whole set. I like it. I do. I really like that set. And then another set I managed to get. I actually didn't find them. Paul found these for me. So I got to thank Paul for this set. This is Release 74. And again, awesome. 1969 Chevy Camaro Z28 Funny Car. Awesome, awesome, awesome. VP Racing up there. So race, racing Fuels. It's got Chevy in the grill there. There's the front. Drag racing. Love it. Absolutely love it. Right there's the back. That is a cool looking car. I like that. And the one that people seem to be going after is this one here 1972 Dodge Avenger Adventure 150 custom right there again pretty sweet looking truck for sure pretty popular see a lot of guys wanting this one looking for it and I wish you all luck getting it I was very happy to get this one even though the box is a little mess it doesn't really matter i got it thanks to paul so yeah that thing is awesome love it another one that is really cool and people seem to be after is this one here 1971 chevy van g10 crane cams love it i think that's cool that's a cool casting i i, I do like this van and uh i'm gonna be looking for more I see there's some out there, but I uh, I haven't run across them myself at all. So, yeah, I think these things here, if you find them, you got to get them. And this one here would be a chase. I don't know what it would be. I would guess it would be gold rims and where the chrome is. I would guess it's gold. I haven't seen the chase for this one, but this is one that would be the chase. This is right there, one of 750 pieces. But this one is not the chase. It's a regular version, which is all right. I don't mind that. 1965 Dodge A100 camper van, Maui and Sun. It's different. It's different. Not bad, though. I don't mind that. Green with the uh, brown interior in that one. There's the front of her. Looks like some butterflies. What is that? Oh, there are flowers on the front of that. Yeah. Pretty cool. Not bad. Not too bad. You say, I like to complete my sets, and this is the set, so I'm happy, happy. 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback 2 Plus 2. They put this casting out quite a few times. It's not bad. You know, it's the back wheel's a little bit jacked up on this one, but it's all right. It's fine. It looks like the uh, doors and hood opens on this one. 
chalkboard performance. That's not bad. The striping on the top is a little different. Doesn't look bad at all. But they are leaving this one behind. A little jacked up in the back there. You can see you're sitting a little crooked. Yeah, it's not good. Well, you know, it's M2. Their quality control is not too good. And then we got the 1969 Mercury Cougar 390. And it looks pretty good in this gray. I don't mind this in this gray with the black striping. Looks good. Black interior. Not a bad looking machine at all. I do like it. Looks good. Hood opens on this one as you can see. And by the looks of it, it had a moonroof in it, this one here. I don't know if you can see the outline of it, but yeah, moonroof. Doors open. And there's the back. Pretty cool. That is awesome. That's a nice set. I like it. I like it a lot. I missed the set before this. I did get a couple of those cars, I believe. I'm going to have to check my little storage box. I think I have. So, get on to some Hot Wheels. And this one here is a little different. But it is my Ford truck. And of course it is Bigfoot. It's new for 2024 it says there. So I think it's the paint job. It almost like it's rusty or something. I don't know if it's supposed to be clay. Or if it's supposed to be rust. I don't know what it is. But uh, all in all it's still pretty cool. I'm looking for the Sam Walton one. Which is uh, Monster Jam. And it's the Ford truck. Now I have Sam Walton's truck. In the, the premium and the regular main line and stuff. And now I've got to get the monster truck for it. So I got this one. Happy to see this. I was actually really, really surprised. Because I didn't expect this one to be coming out. And I seen it. It's like holy. Gotta grab that. Bigfoot. 4x4x4 four by four by four, it says on her. So that's pretty cool. Love it. It's a Ford truck. Love it. Now we'll get into some main lines, which I got quite a few of them. And there's actually Zamax in this set. So it's not a set. It's the ones I found. So we got the McLaren right here. Zamax 2024. Again, not bad. I don't quite understand the paint job they have on it I'm not sure what that's really all about but it is different but it's still pretty cool good to see this same act stuff so that's one of them and the other one is the 57 Jeep FC looks good in Zamax not bad with the green and the green glass in her it's all right nothing wrong with that it's kind of a cool casting for sure but it's Zamax. Happy, happy. And then we got the Mazda RX-7. It says police on the side. Pretty cool. I think it'd be sought after this one. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm guessing it would be. Like I said, I just seen them and I grabbed them. And I don't know what's going on with that paint in the front. I will when I watch the video and see what it is. Something a little different there. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, maybe that's the way it is. It says Mazda. Looking at the card art. So yeah. Pretty cool. Black interior. No detail. Just the side tempos. That's alright. And then we picked up this J Imports in 1992 Honda Civic. Right there. Down in red. In the black interior. I have the, this car in a few different colors. But I was thought, well... We'll grab the red one. Something a little different. Yeah, we got the red one. And I definitely got this because it's got Hot Wheels on the side. It's uh, Hot Wheels Let's Race right there. And it's a Baja truck. And it's got the Hot Wheels on the side of the truck. That's what I was all about. I collect those ones with all the Hot Wheels on the side. The Hot Wheel race teams and stuff. So, uh, yeah. And the paint on this one is really, really cool. It's almost a... Uh, Spectra paint job. It's really cool. And I think this one might be hard to get. I don't know. But I, I got it right at the right time, I guess. There's one I did miss, and it was the Golf um, AC Cobra. I missed it. So, But I did get this one. 
And another one a little different here is Women's Day. This is a roadster. Women's Day, which is on Friday, I believe. The 8th of March. There you go. I don't know if it says it on the card. It doesn't say it on the card, but yeah, I noticed it today. They've seen a post about it. So yeah, it's a little different. International Women's Day. Not bad. You know, I like it. Looks all right. And then we got the BMW 507 right there in the yellow. I believe this would be the super treasure hunt in this one. I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm thinking it probably is. I could have looked it up, but main lines are not really my thing anymore. I'm not I'm trying to stay away from them. I'm not doing a good job, obviously. 1970 Charger RT. Again, it's a cool casting. So, yeah, had to have it. The paint scheme on it, because it's an art car, not a big fan, but, you know, the car, the casting, I like it. Now, I guess if you wanted to customize it, you could do some nice work with this, for sure. Still, it's all right. Not too bad. <laughs> and then, of course, we got the Goldfinger, 60 years, right there. Aston Martin, 1963, DB5. That is pretty cool. I'm pretty sure I do have this casting already. An older one, though. And this is just came out again for 2024. Yeah, I got her. What the heck? Why not? Looks pretty good. And then we got this Fiat 500D. And this would be a super treasure hunt as well. This would be gold. All gold. Now, I've seen pictures of it already. People's finding it. But uh, I did not. I found the regular version. I thought it was kind of cute, so I grabbed it. It's different. Card art. Eh, it's alright. Not too bad. And then we got the 67 Chevy C10. Again, I do like this casting. That's why I picked it up. But it's part of the art cars. You know, it's got the uh, chrome uh, interior and stuff on it. It's a little different. Red wheels, a little different. But, yeah, it is what it is. It is a cool casting, though. Big cowled hood on it. Yeah, it's not bad. Like, the guys that want to customize, you know, they got some pretty cool castings to do that with. And, of course, I picked this up, Roger Dodger, because it's the leap year car. 29 days in February, and that's what this is all about. Leap year. Right there. Oh, yeah. I got her just because it's leap year. Not too bad. Not too bad. Different. And then I picked up the Honda Civic Custom, 1973. I thought it was pretty cool. It's yellow with the black interior. It looks pretty cool I like it for a little car looks all right that's uh, not bad at all like that and one of the popular ones here is the skyline this is uh, skyline GTR and it's a R33 Godzilla on the side I, I don't know what the other one was the R34 or something was the other one just a you know, a few cases back, they had it, and I do have it, so I thought, well, we'll get this one just to match it. So we have both versions, different cars, but they both say Godzilla on them, so I got it. Still pretty, pretty cool little casting. Pretty cool. And then, I guess, we got this one here, and actually I'm looking for this one in the Mini GT, and they didn't have any in stock right now I have to pre-order it but uh, this is a Cadillac project GTP hypercar and I'd like to see the mini GT version of this this one here is done all in black I think it's a pretty cool looking vehicle that's for sure so I'm definitely going to get one of these with the mini GTs and I'll be showing that and maybe I'll pull this one out and show you a comparison you know, there is no comparison to the quality and everything, but it'll give you an idea what the difference is in both of them. So, yeah, I'm definitely looking for this. This is new for 2024. Awesome. I love that thing. I think that thing is cool. And then, 
we've got this here laying low rider the engine moves in it it's different i was on the fence if i wanted it or not and it's like well you know i've got the other ones well why not so i did grab it it's not mm, yeah it's not one of my favorite ones that's for sure but it is what it is still pretty cool not too bad reverse rake it says on the side there yeah a little different and then we got the mustang funny car which is pretty cool i like the drag racing stuff not a big fan of the art car one here but it's okay it's not bad done in white with the black it's, it's different you can say that and of course these do not open it's got a plastic bottom on her yeah they're making them pretty cheap anymore but whatever still not bad and I did get this Mercedes Benz in red now I thought I had this and I wasn't 100% sure I showed the black one last weekend on the turntable I believe and this is the red one love the casting I really like this thing I think they did a bang up job with this for sure for two bucks yeah absolutely detail I like it I think that is cool absolutely and then we picked up the Corvette Stingray which is a casting that's been around for quite a while it's just done different with the different paint scheme so I, I grabbed it oh, why not there's the front of her not too bad and then the last one here is the Pontiac Aztec Custom and this is new for 2024 I think it looks all right it's not too bad at all you know it's a nice color I do like the color of it it's a new casting so yeah why not so it's a uh, first one of this one so it's it's all right not bad it would be different to see in a different color see what it looks like but for now it is what it is it is blue so yeah, that's some of the ones I got this weekend. I do have a bunch more. I, I've got to stop. It's gone too long, this video. So we're going to pause it there. And uh, we're going to carry on for get ready for next weekend. So I guess, you know, if you like that, go ahead and uh, hit that like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. See ya.